Yes, thank you very much. Uh, good evening from Finland. My name is Heidi Himmanen. I work for the Finnish Transport and Communications Agency, Traficom. Thank you for the very nice presentation so far, and thank you for letting me share the views of Traficom on this dynamic spectrum use. Uh, we have some interesting Finnish research projects already in the past uh, related to license shared access and dynamic spectrum use. So let me just highlight a few of those. We have Core and Core++ uh, in uh, 2011 to 2014. And the, the uh, material is, is, you can find more information from the website. And also we had a project called Microoperator Concept for Boosting Local Service Delivery in 5G in 2016 to 2018. So, and, and uh, our agency was then, the Re National Regulatory Authority was then uh, FICORA. We supported uh, these projects uh, as we are also today supporting uh, uh, research development and innovation projects. Uh, so next slide, please. So the, a few words about the current regulation. Uh, we, uh, as Seppo Uriela from Nokia already said in his presentation, in Finland we have two bands for for local 4G, 5G networks. So we have granted licenses uh, for one year already on the, to the 2300 to 2320 megahertz band for private networks. And now we have also opened uh, this uh, the, the lowest part of the 26 gigahertz band for for local licenses and uh, and we ha are not using any LSA schemes uh, but we are actually just <laughs> granting licenses as we are used to and we have just opened an, a new web page related to this and uh, we have not yet granted the first licenses to this 24 gig 24 gigahertz band, but we are just uh, getting in the applic in first applications now. And then uh, we also provide a search tool for license exempt radio microphone users in the bands used for terrestrial TV, so in the white spaces. Actually, this was tool was developed when they were still uh, licensed, uh, but now they are are licensed, the radio microphones in the TV white space are license exempt, but we provide uh, information for the users to find the right frequencies. Uh, there is also a new government decree uh, that enables dynamic shared use in the 1427 to 1518 megahertz. Uh, and the, sh the shared use is between electronic communication services and military applications. So uh, currently we all only have military applications here, but uh, and we are finalizing uh, the final regulation from Traficom to, to grant licenses for, for mobile networks in this band. But, but that's, that's been opened. And uh, we also have uh, many, for many years, we already had legislation that enables register notification. So in addition to license and license exempt use, we can have this register notification. It's, it's not so much used right now, mostly for vessels and for, for mobile base stations on vessels and, and on aircrafts. Okay, next slide, please. So the future outlooks. So first of all, I want to stress that we we support the development of shared access schemes, uh, but we have not seen a clear demand for, for license shared access from spectrum users yet. So maybe, uh, so actually we are just um, uh, granting radio licenses in the, in the old way. Maybe we are, well, we are quite, fast and flexible, so we don't see a clear demand for, for um, like this uh, electronic uh, LSA or, or, or having uh, a specific databases uh, for, for these. But actually, it, until now, it has been enough to, 
to, to grant radio licenses as usual. Uh, we have no identified spectrum bands for LSA right now in, in Finland, except for the one mentioned that is allowing dynamic shared access. Uh, probably it will be also on quite a traditional shared use in that band. But uh, actually Finland was uh, interested and had proposed to use uh, the 66 to, to 71 gigahertz band for some kind of license or registered shared access. But our proposal was not successful as this is already a, an SRD, sh short range device band that is license exempt in Europe. But from our perspective, this could have been a very interesting band. And let me just add that uh, as we now have these uh, two, uh, two bands for localized use, the 2.3 gigahertz and the 24 gigahertz bands, uh, indeed, uh, we see that one very interesting uh, next step or next band for for localized uh, 5G networks would be the 3.8 to, to 4.2 gigahertz band that has already been mentioned a few times uh, during this, this webinar. So this ends my presentation. Thank you very much.